are you feeling as you're, as you're recovering? I mean, you've been out here day in, day out. Uh, would you like to play Thursday night, or is it just you're following the plan? Just following the plan, just trying to go uh, as needed. I'm going to call, trying to get a lot of working out here at practice with Ryan, uh, Coach Rob, um, really just trying to get a lot of work in and practice and really push it and, and challenge it uh, throw every drill and every period. You've gotten to work with a lot of quarterbacks. Now working with Ryan Tannehill, you see him out here being so demonstrative how he wants the routes and everything. How has that experience been for you? Is that something that's kind of unique to what you've experienced before? Yeah, it is. I would say a uh, very good quarterback, very good leader uh, for our offense, very accurate. Um, but one thing that's big is uh, he's out here working with us, grinding with us, out here coaching us at practice, out here after every rep, coming to talk to the players, even today, uh, hopped in our conditioning with me and Traylon just to get some running in. Uh, just one of those quarterbacks who, you know, just, just want to compete, uh, want to be there for his team. Uh, he shows that in every aspect of his, of his work. Is it hard for a guy like Traylon to maybe be encouraged that he ran some routes that, that got him open, even though he may not have gotten the ball and had any production? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, – it's, it's, it's preseason. It's one of those. It's, it's, it's a scrimmage. You're going out there and challenging, learning about yourself and learning the speed of the game and how it goes. Obviously, he's uh, he's working. He's getting open. But that's what we got to just just keep working at is, is picking up the speed, picking up the tempo, uh, being at the right spot at the right time. And uh, when the ball finds you, you got to be ready. I think he did. I think he did well. His first game, um, getting out there, just uh, getting some reps, played a lot, uh, just picking up the speed of the game. Much, Traylon mentioned how much you've mentored and kind of helped guide him, especially in these early stages. How much pride do you take in that, being a veteran and, and also giving back that mentorship? Uh, really just a player who has to play for us. I mean, every every receiver in our room is, is having a key role, having a big uh, big part of our team success. And uh, we need everybody. And I'm just talking to all the guys and even, even Traylon, just how, how urgent he has to be. Um, and his routes at practice, really be out here working with uh, with the purpose. Uh, his routes, weight room. Um, it's a long season, but it goes fast, and every rep matters and counts. Uh, you may not get every rep in game or practice, but that's why you have to really lock in and uh, hone your craft when you can. What's it like, Robert, I guess, watching leadership role as a veteran in that room? How important is it for you to take that leadership role as a veteran? I mean, it's just, like I said, it's for our team success. I think uh, if you if lifting up everybody in our whole room, um, if somebody gets hurt, you don't need it to be a, a drop off when, when someone goes down. You want it to be a high level of, of a standard in our room. So really we're just pushing everybody to be at the same, the same standard. And uh, I think that's just what I, what I take in my leadership is just having everybody play to a, to a high level. Robert, it like when you watch maybe the, the preseason games like Thursday night, and do you do you see things that you mentioned the young guys about what you saw in the game, or they, and do they come to you during the course of the week? Yeah, uh, I mean, it's, it's still early in the week after the, after the game, just really getting a chance to, to break it down and see a little bit of the clips. But uh, just talking with the guys, just telling them to, to play fast, trust it. It was some, some times where your players overran their window and, and some zones, but uh, that just comes with experience. you got to know where the zone is, when to hit it, uh, and it comes with timing and practice and, uh, and reps in, in preseason games. What do you look forward to most coming up with the joint training camp practices this week? Uh, the intensity picking up uh, for myself. Uh, it's, it's another another week to get better. It's going to be more intense than what we have here. We're just another team trying to compete, and uh, just another step to get me ready for for week one. Robert, what Robert, have you noticed Robert. from Kyle Phillips? Maybe not not only on the field, but maybe in kind of meetings too. He, he seems to be a very precise route runner. What what have you kind of taken from him? Yeah, I would say he's he's maturing as a pro as as he goes on. Uh, coming in obviously he knows how to be a receiver knows how to be shifty knows the the techniques and the craft and now it's really just seeing him grasp our offense and be at the right spot at the right time being able to work a little faster uh, he's a shifty receiver knows how to get open now he's uh just finding the rhythm to work in our offense and uh know when to get open uh, at a certain time but really just seeing him grow uh mature in his offense and really make plays uh here in practice i was going to ask you about racing mcmath too over the last couple of weeks it seems like he's really Taking off. What do you think? Yeah, I think just uh, keep keep being himself, making plays. Uh, he's going to be a, a big time receiver for us. Got to go up and uh, attack the ball, going down and uh, get it vertically. Had a nice play in the game um, on a deep one. Um, really just asking him to, to be a self run, fast guys, be big, physical, and um, just just go up and get it when he can. 
You had a couple of those broken up today. Uh, DB also made a play. But what, what a kind of coaching points do you have for a guy like that when he's trying to haul one in? Yeah, it's a tough one. I mean, guys are out here competing, like like Rob said. I mean, they get paid, too. That's their job to break up plays. It was a great play by him, uh, adjusting to the football, um, trying to go up and get it. Great play by the DB to um, punch through his hands. But uh, like I said, it's a great play on, on both sides. But what I'm telling Racy is, you you know, you got to have it. Um, that's that's the big the big paydays right there. You go up and get it, contested catches. Being able to go go up and snatch the ball from a defender is a uh, is what we need and uh, that allows big plays. A lot of that extra work you get in during dead periods, is, is that something that you've done throughout your career or is that something that, you know, with Coach Rob Moore that, that you started doing now? Yeah, that's something that uh, I've, I've always done, been working with um, just the, the passing game, um, being able to get reps. So I think sometimes you may see me down here with RT and, and Hoop running routes, but really just trying to take reps and get, get an extra rep any chance we can. Uh, it's, it's big work when Rob being able to get some one on one, uh, a lot of a lot of releases stuff, but really just um, it's just extra rest being able to get in when we can during the special team periods. How much does his experience, like having been there and done that, does, does that make it a lot easier for you to digest what, what he's imparting upon you? Yeah, I mean that, that always helps having a, a coach who's been a player who actually lived it, and not just teaching the lines in a playbook or something like that, or the rules in the rule book. Sometimes it comes down to playing football and getting open. And I think that's one big thing that Rob allows is us to sometimes be, be a natural receiver of guys playing outside, slip inside, um, really just uh, allow us to, to be ourselves and, and be our and play our game, but um, being able to work in the rules of our offense. You've come so far in your rehab at this point. It seems like maybe game action is the last thing for you. How antsy are you to, to get that action whenever it comes here? Uh, I'm, just, I'm just ready to go. I mean, I'm like – Counting the weeks, uh, football is back. I mean, everybody's watching the games and stuff. Uh, really just excited to get out there on the field and just get an opportunity to play fast, play in real contact, and uh, see what happens. Are you watching Tyke of Giants already? I mean, and maybe looking at opponents you'll be facing this year, or did you do that throughout the off season? Uh, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Never too early, I guess. Yeah, never too early. I mean, we always uh, we know who we're coming out with week one. Everybody knows. Uh, just uh, just trying to trying to get an edge whenever you can. You got opportunity to to not play in the preseason games. Just got to capitalize on the time, being able to watch your opponent schemes. Um, but uh, that's that's the one we're all waiting on. That's good. Hi, Teresa. Well, my sister wishes you tomorrow happy birthday. A huh. So. Um, Thank you. You're welcome. You should try some of that. Hmm? I was okay. telling these guys that were making fun of you ah. that they should try some of that. Uh, your wide receiver room, uh, the competition from the top to the bottom, what are you it, – it, it feels like there's – that you're getting exactly what you'd like out of that room. Yeah, what are you I mean, I think that the competition has been good. I think the guys that are working inside, you know, um, Kyle and, and Mason, um, you know, we've got – you know, Terry's working in there a little bit. Um, outside, you know, Racy's been doing some good things, obviously, you know, Nick and Woods. And, and it has been, you know, Dez has shown up, Dez showed up today. And, you know, it's just, uh, you know, Traylon is just continuing to improve and, and watch the film and, and went through that and tried to focus on some, some things today. So, you know, we'll see what it looks like. You talked earlier in camp about looking at all the routes, whether a guy ends up targeted or not. Was, was Traylon – Winning some in, in Baltimore and, and uh, well, open. you know that that's that's something that we actually talked about today after, you know, a rep and maybe seven on seven, maybe the the, the bunch drill or something that you know that you can't control when you get the ball. All you can do is 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 worry about getting open. And you know there was times and you know they was open. It just when you look at the whole body of work, we talked about it, and he realizes it has to be better. It's his first opportunity. Um, but that's that goes for every receiver. You know, you can't control whether you get the ball. You can only focus on, um, you know, getting open. And then if you get the ball, you gotta, you gotta go make a play. You mentioned Dez. I mean, how's he doing from a consistency standpoint? You know, stacking, being able to stack days. I mean, I think it's it's been okay. You know, what I mean, it's you know today was probably something. It was good to see down there in, in, in close quarters in the red zone and you know going and attacking a ball. And you know, we know how contested and tight those windows are gonna be. You know, so it was good to see him do that. Did you do a little camp on cornerbacks today, or were you 
comfortable with the amount of work the guys who are out there got? Well, we need that. We'd like everybody to be out there. You know what I mean? So whether they were or they weren't, you know, we'd like to have everybody that's on the roster available. And when they're not, then then the next guys have to step in and everybody's got to, you know, do a little bit more work. This past year, like, have you seen an increase in the sense of urgency for him? And if so, like, what's an example of that? Well, I mean, we targeted him down there. I wanted to see him in a red zone, a big body, an athletic guy. Um, you know, so I think that, you know, his willingness to go in there and block, whether that was on the, the second play of the game, you know, we had a six-yard gain and, it, you know, it wasn't that he lacked urgency to get in there. It just you know, his technique kind of broke down and the guy threw off and you know, they made a tackle for a six-yard gain. We'd like to have him get in there, replace his hands and, you know, finish the guy or cover him up. But it wasn't that he lacked the urgency to, to go in there and, and try to get him. You know, he did and it was a, you know, it was a good physical contact. Again, it just, he kind of lost a couple seconds into the play. So I guess we could use that as an example of there was urgency. It just, there wasn't, um, you know, the finish has to be better. Yeah, I was saying that as opposed to last year, because I know that was. Yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, they have to be able to block. I mean, we're, we're going to have to be able to run the football. You know, we're going to have to help Derek out. I mean, we know there's a lot of ways to run the football, but, you know, those guys, um, you know, when we're successful running the football, you know, receivers are, are usually getting in there and, and trying to help us, you know, get the safety. You complimented Nanny uh, the other night. I mean, when a guy performs like that late, do you, do you potentially give him some more looks early uh, in games with a higher group, or what does a guy have to do to earn? Well, we only had a handful of guys. I mean, Bud didn't play, Harold didn't play. So whatever that leaves you with, four guys on the edge. Um, you know. David, you know, see how see how it goes this week against Tampa, and see if it it earns him some more reps. I mean, it certainly flashes and, and his get off uh, when it's good, you know, um, it can help him. What's Chestnut showing you to earn the reps that he's getting? Oh well, I man, I think he runs physical. He's done a nice job on special teams. Um, you know, finishes when he doesn't have the football. I think he plays. I think he plays fast when he doesn't have the football, and trying to go out and help somebody else and, you know, the, the other guys, are. You know, we'll see where it is this week. Are you able to look at these joint practices as you would any other practice or does that competitive part of you come out a little bit at points too? Um, in what regards? Like, do you find yourself wanting to see a win on a particular rep if you've had a couple bad ones or do you, do you keep in your sort of teacher – Headspace. Well, I mean, I think that we would like to win more than we lose. Um, you know, and if, if somebody repeatedly shows that they can't perform, you know, then we have to try to get somebody else, put somebody else in there. Um, you know, but I, I hope they're as competitive as we can, and I hope that, you know, we're, we, we're able to, to focus on the things that we're trying to focus on, improve. Um, play with our techniques, with our style, um, you know, but also play smart and make sure that we're staying up and, you know, taking care of them. And I would imagine that they would they would do the same for us. Mike, with the number of young guys that you have in the receiver core, how important is Robert Woods, both on the field and in the room? Well, his leadership has been great. You know, his consistency each and every day, uh, be able to work through things, talk through things, and you know, provide Rob with a with an extension of a of a coach. So. You know, it's been it's been great to have him. You let Byard pick his two guys for that uh, the one final snap of that drill. A little bit of ownership there for them. Well, I mean, I think it's a, you know kind of figure out who he would want to to go into a drill, last play of the game, or a goal line situation. Um, you know, just to see who he would pick. You know, sometimes, you know, ask Ryan to pick a couple guys. Asked asked Kevin to pick a couple guys. Mike, you indicated yesterday that the QB two spot is open. What will you need to see from either Logan or Malik these next few weeks to, to make your decision? Um, I think that, you know, ball security is paramount. You know, the ability to to function and, and, and run our style, but, you know, be able to create um, plays, be able to find the open guy, uh, operate the line of scrimmage, get into our, to our run game or, or whatever the operation is at the line of scrimmage. So, um, you know, this week will be really cool to see against the new defense, to have to see it one day, make corrections, come back the next, um, you know, 
know, different coverages that they may see. Is it two different jobs in terms of the guy who comes in if there's an injury in game and the guy who might be game planned for for a week knowing he's starting? Well, I mean, I think, you know, that's that's yet to be determined, really. I think that, you know, if you lined up all three and, and you told me that one guy was starting, I mean, I'm sure that Todd and I and Tim and Keith and everybody that's involved in the offensive staff, we would have, you know, a game plan, you know, for that quarterback. And then, you know, like you mentioned, if, if a, you know, if somebody has to come in in game, um, you know, it's going to be pretty much the game plan. We'll have some, you know, plays that are specific to them because we've carried them, you know, and worked on them previously. So I think it would be probably a mix of in game. And then, you know, if one quarterback was going that week, then we would probably cater it, you know, like we have in the past to, man, we know who this quarterback's going to be. You know, what do we have to try to do to win the football game? How do you feel about Logan's camp so far overall? Oh, I mean, I think overall, um, Good, you know. I mean, I feel good about, you know, where he's at. I just think that, you know, he has to, um, and and they all do, continue to take care of the football. Um, you know, let play, make the plays that you're supposed to make. We we talk about that throughout every position, as opposed to trying to to make something that's not there. Um, whether that's a defensive player coming under, uh, coming under a block, or or trying to go make a play, you know, just just try to make good plays.